everyone, Mango7 Rule here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. We're just gonna do a really quick data mine here. Thank you so much for you, Fiend Throwaway. And as they say at the top, data mines are always prone to changing. Don't get mad at people data mining because stuff has changed when the hero is released. So as I go through these, keep in mind, none of this is guaranteed. It's just what's in the files. It's very likely, but you never know what they change. And there's always stuff that will get data mined that does get changed. Uh, so don't get too hyped over things, you know, very likely with the units, but sometimes they're a little iffy on things. So with that out of the way, let's get into this. So we have a Basar side story, like father, like daughter. And I actually don't know who Basar's daughter is. So I'm pretty excited to see this. Um, I, I noticed the daughter symbol has the little tail thingy. I, I have no idea who it is. I'm sure you guys will tell me. Uh, I've really wanted Basar since day one, basically. His VA is Matt Mercer, a big, huge, ginormous fan of him. So absolutely would be really, really happy for that. We've also got a new Moonlight pack um, that I'm not going to buy. The next gacha pickup rate is Basar, so that pretty much doesn't confirm that Basar is coming, but there's a very, very, very good chance the next banner is going to be Basar. Uh, we also have Kawana here with her skill icons, her skill, and oh my gosh, her skill animation here. That's adorable, super, super adorable. You have your modifiers here as well if you are interested in that. We then have Pavel. Uh, Pavel's data is incomplete for now, apparently, so we don't get to see everything. It says he's a warrior, which doesn't make much sense. Um, it looks more like an archer of sorts, or a ranger, I would say. And we can see a skill tree animation here. That looks like a warrior, right? Uh, and his skills here, it doesn't say what they are. And then our ML5 of next month should theoretically be Faithless Lydica. And... Whew, Ooh, that's exciting. So we can see her adorable face here. Uh, we can see her skill icons here. Blah, blah, blah. And we can see her skill three animation. And she's, of course, got the smirk at the end of it. Absolutely love that. And honestly, um, one of my favorite parts of her... Oh, they actually edited it out. Uh, one of their camping lines before I refreshed was about Araminta and how um, they talked about how Araminta taught... Uh, faithless, faithless uh, Lydica, that she can be good without being religious. And I think that was really cool. That was the camping line too, but um, apparently it changed now. I, I wish it didn't, but oh well. Oh well, data mines are data mines. We have our devotion is going to be attack percent for all, and her self devotion is going to be effectiveness. I love how her personalities is individualistic and traumatized. And, um,. We can see a couple other things here. Her stats, she's got 114 speed, 5300 HP, 1200 attack. And her skills here are kind of interesting. Her skill one, I'm not a big fan of. It has a 60% chance. It goes up to, I believe, 75% chance with uh, all the Molagoras in there. And it just decreases hit chance for one turn. And if there's anything I dislike in this game, it's one turn skill ones. I hate it. I hate it so much, I can understand one turn skill ones for provoke and stun, but one turn heal debuff, one turn um, basically anything just feels so bad. And her skill 2 Larkspur is really her... Hail Mary, is that the right word? It's really her like best ability, I would say, or like what ties her together and what makes her a good unit. Uh, and that's going to be an AoE attack with an 85% chance to dispel a buff, and that's 100% chance with Molagoras, and also increases the combat readiness of her for 25% for each target hit, and all allies for 5% per target. It also says the skill cannot trigger a dual attack, which doesn't make any sense because skill 2s can't trigger dual attacks, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, but probably just another one of those data mine shenanigan things that uh, will be fixed later. So this ability here, if you use it in Arena, you're going to use your skill to and automatically go again. You'll get 100% chance um, for targets in Arena right at the start. And it doesn't say it doesn't say if you dispel or anything. It's literally just if you if you target them, if you hit them, if it hits four people. I believe it can even miss, and you will still get that 100%. So she's guaranteed to get two turns 
on Arena, and uh, everybody else will get 20% bonus from that too. It's got pretty low damage here, unfortunately, uh, for her multipliers here. And our final skill is Hysteria, and it attacks the enemy indiscriminately, increasing skill cooldown to max. So this is a skill one, or not a skill one, a single target, big damage ability, I think. Um, also, the Soul Burn ignores effect resistance. It's got 1.4 attack rate, and all the things are damage and minus one cooldown here. I, I, I think this is a single target, and it says indiscriminately, which kind of suggests random, but it doesn't say anything about random, so I, I think that's just, like, her not caring and just going all out, you know? So I fully expect it to just be, like, a big single target thing that sometimes increases skill cooldown to max. So that's going to be Lydica here. I'm not sure what to think about her skill set yet, and as always, things can still change. I know she's adorable. I think her voice is going to be great. I think a lot of things about it are going to be awesome, but I'm just not sure what to think about her yet. I will be summoning for her if she shares a banner with somebody I don't have, like Charles, like Lulika, like Bassar if I don't get him from the banner, stuff like that. But in general, I'm not going to be too sad if I miss her, I don't think. So yeah, um, that's it so far for these here. And if you want to check these out, I will leave this data mine in the link below. Again, thank you for you, Fiend Throwaway, for always doing this insane work. Just absolutely so, so fun and uh, really, really exciting to try these out. And that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.